topic for today is we'll try to study the two we'll try to study the two aspects of rutherford's two aspects of rutherford model of an atom okay so we'll try to study the two aspects of the rutherford model of an atom the first aspect is distance of closest approach then the second parameter is impact second, uh, second aspect is impact parameter impact parameter this is denoted by small letter r and this is denoted by small letter b so distance of closest approach one ko kyo matlab this means how close can uh, the doubly charged doubly ionized helium or the alpha particle come to the uh, foil it may be a gold foil it may be a, a silver foil we don't know we don't we don't care about that we just care about how close can that uh, doubly ionized helium come to the uh, what is that the atom of the foil right it will come to a certain distance because like this is the bigger nucleus so let's say this is the bigger nucleus there are number of protons inside right there are number of protons and one this uh, helium particle or alpha particle just comes as a head on collision it comes straight into the nucleus right so after a particular distance at this point right at this point the force of repulsion between this nucleus and the alpha particle which itself is positive too positive will be so high that it'll no longer go in it'll no longer go in it rather curve back and return right so we need to find this distance so this distance is denoted as r and that distance is known as distance of closest approach right and the second thing that is the impact parameter means now if there is the nucleus again so this is the nucleus and and if i assume that uh, the helium or the alpha particle is just coming like this it's not coming straight into the nucleus right and at a part particular moment this starts going up right it starts reflecting or it gets repelled by the nucleus right and it's repelled and there is an angle theta so this distance between the nucleus and the actual path distance of the alpha particle is known as the impact parameter right so we need to derive a formula that can define the distance of closest approach that is r that is the that is the closest the alpha particle can come uh, when it is in a head on collision when it is in a head on collision head on collision with the nucleus of gold silver whatever it is whatever the foil is made up of okay so these are the two aspects we need to study so let's study the first aspect that is distance of closest approach so let's let's say this is the bigger nucleus now this is the bigger nucleus right and an alpha particle is coming here and at a particular time it's rebounding back now let us assume two different positions for this alpha particle so this is the first position of the alpha particle this is the second position of the alpha particle now in the first position of the alpha particle where the alpha particle is moving right so at this position the kinetic energy will have some value and the potential energy will be zero because the alpha particle is not stationary so potential energy is the energy of the body with respect to its position from earth position from the center of the earth so that is potential energy right but now since the charge is not moving matlab um, if the ch the charge is not stable or stationary the charge is moving its kinetic energy its potential energy will be zero right and its kinetic energy will be the simple basic formula of kinetic energy that is half mv square now in the second position the kinetic energy will be zero because at this particular moment the charge has completely stopped not this this one at this particular moment the charge has completely stopped because the repulsion is so high that the in inbound charged particle the charged particle that was supposed to come this direction is stopped by the repulsion from this nucleus right and there is a potential energy so potential energy is given by the uh, potential due to two charge system is given by q1 q2 
divided by 4 pi epsilon naught into r so this is the potential potential energy due to two, two charge system this was done in electrostatics it's very simple okay so we are given two two formulas of energy right but we also know that for a moving charged particle or moving body whatever it is for a free falling body whatever we consider okay if a body is moving uh, moving and it's changing state like it's moving at particular point it's stopping at a particular point then we can say that their energy is conserved right energy gets energy gets conserved this is only in the case of ideal systems so we consider this system to be ideal there is no loss of energy from the moving uh, charged particle or the alpha particle it is not losing or radiating any energy on its way right it is not losing any energy on its way the energy that it had kinetic energy that it had at this position gets completely converted to potential energy at this position so we can all we can come to a conclusion that k will be equal to u so k is half m v square which is equal to q1 q2 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught into r okay so this is the first conclusion that we come into now what we do is we rewrite this equation in terms of the things that are coming so page 2 page 1 so now we rewrite this equation okay so what we had is half mv square equal to uh, q1 into q2 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught into r so now we need this r this is the distance of closest approach so r will be equal to we take r to the other side q1 q2 into 2 divided by mv square into 4 pi epsilon naught now for this system we know what is q1 q1 is the charge of the helium particle that is coming or the alpha particle right basically the alpha particle so q1 is basically plus 2e right helium one ago it's like doubly ionized uh, i mean alpha particle is basically doubly ionized helium so there, there, there is like two electron two two electron deficiency so the charge of helium is plus 2e and the charge of the other nucleus is let us assume the atomic number of the nucleus to be z z e so i'm not assuming it as gold right now right as of now i'm not taking it as gold i'm assuming any metal whose atomic number is z right z e divided by divided by uh, sorry into 2 divided by mv square 4 pi epsilon naught so this formula defines the distance of closest approach of the heal alpha particle that is coming towards the foil right so it cannot come closer to closer than this okay it will never come closer than this value that we get after substituting all the values all the all the relevant values when we substitute all the relevant values and get the value of r the helium particle will not come closer than this value right this is the this is the maximum it can come maximum distance between maximum distance between the helium part uh, the alpha particle and the nucleus of the atom okay so is there any doubt regarding this you can ask me some questions if you want yes yeah, yeah. that are solvents are you solve you can put some values arbitrary values you can put it and solve it no problem so numericals are the most probably i don't think they'll ask from this but if they ask it's, it's very simple like like rather than like your two like don't keep the two up okay just the keep the two below only like munina rakhe ke hunda bhanche you can write 2e into ze divided by there will be half mv square right so this is kinetic energy into 4 pi epsilon naught so you'll get a simplified formula yes you are asking something continue two guy uh your two lights i'm taking to the denominator so i'm rather than multiplying this two to the other side i'm taking half mv square like taller uh -huh. okay so if i take half mv square dollar half mv square is basically k right so i replace half mv square uh -huh. with k so this two this two i'm not assuming this two in the numerator i'm not cross multiplying the two i'm taking half mv square as a whole okay so half mv square is basically k k is basically the kinetic energy mm -hmm. okay 
So now we need to find the impact parameter. So there is no de derivation for impact parameter. There is a straightforward formula for this. I think you need to know this page four. So impact parameter, I told you already. So impact parameter, whatever you care. So let us assume that this is the bigger nucleus. Let us have like three cases. And the third case is somewhere here. Now I assume um, alpha particle that is coming at this direction. And because of this positive, it's getting deflected to some angle here. So let us say this is theta one. So there is another alpha particle that is coming with respect to another another positive nucleus there. And this is causing it to reflect in this direction and getting another theta value. So this is theta two. Similarly, I have another alpha particle that is coming for this, right? And because of this, it's deflecting completely backwards and this angle is theta three. Now, impact parameter is basically the distance between this positive nucleus and the actual path of the alpha particle. So that is B. So you need to know about this, right? And uh, this distance is measured from the center of the atom. So this distance is something like this. So this distance is measured from the center of the nucleus, center of the atom. So this is the impact parameter. B, okay, and this has a direct form. Yes, yes. Radius when radius when counting. Yes, radius is also calculated. Half of diameter is also taken into account. So radius when you calculate also, and the distance between the uh, actual path of the alpha particle, if the positive charge was not there, right? This is the actual path of the alpha particle when positive charge was not there, and that distance is also taken. So this distance plus the radius of the atom or the nucleus, okay. So there is a straightforward formula for this. So B equal to one by four pi epsilon naught into two Z square by MV square two Z E square by MV square. Now this is the first thing you need to know. Now this entire thing is multiplied by cot theta two by two again. Yeah, cot theta by two, cot theta by two. So I'll write it in like next page, better. So So B equal to one by four pi epsilon naught into two Z E square divided by, uh, what do we have here? Two Z E square divided by M V square. That is the kinetic energy into cot theta by two. So this is the value. This is the formula of B that you need to remember. So it's not that important. They'll not ask you about this, but but you should know about what is impact parameter. So impact parameter is basically the distance between the center of the atom or the center of the nucleus to the original path path the original path that the alpha particle should have taken. Suppose if the positive charge of the nucleus was absent, so that that distance is said to be the impact parameter, and it's given by this formula. Not that important, but if you like are interested in this kind of studies. If you are interested in modern physics, this formula is also very important, right? And its its derivation is also important. It is not included in your syllabus, so we'll not be doing that. So this you need to know about this. So this is the impact parameter. So if they if they ask you to write about the two aspects or two parameters, parameters of the Rutherford's model of an atom, so you'll have to write the these these two parameters. So the first parameter is the the distance of closest approach that is r so that r is derived with this formula and we get the final thing here and the last thing that you need to uh, write is this one the distance uh, this is the impact parameter distance of cl closest approach was r and this b is the impact parameter so if this is when head on collision is not happening right so b is when the alpha particle is not coming straight into the uh, at like nucleus of the other atom it's not coming straight 
So R R happens when the distance of closest approach happens when this is an this is a head-on impact is happening. So head-on impact means the alpha particle is coming straight into the uh, the nucleus of the atom, right? It's coming straight into the nucleus of an of the atom. But the the impact parameter B happens when head-on impact is not happening. Head-on collision is not meant to happen. So it is going like above or below the nucleus, right? So this will cause electrostatic repulsion will push it away at particular angles, right? So that this thing you need to know about this thing, right? So this is the impact parameter. And R is the, the, the distance of closest approach. So any doubts till here, let me know. If you don't have any doubts, this is this is it for today. Distance of closest approach and impact parameter. Yes, and every particle is already out. Just a collision. If you consider about any type of collision, okay. So there are a lot different types of collision. Elastic collision, unsa, non-elastic collision, unsa, okay. And just the collision, by I don't care about the types of collision. There are basically two types of impacts, right? There are only basically two types of impacts. So when two bodies are coming straight into them, this is a head-on collision, right? And when they're not coming straight into it. So a boy, a body is just sliding through a body. It's just touching us, touching the surface of the body, right? So that is non-head-on collision. So this, this is a basic principle of uh, your basic physics concept here. So uh, head-on collision and non-head-on collision. So thus we are applying that in in the sense of the alpha particle approaching the nucleus. Mm -hmm.